Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this viral story. But before I get started, um, it seems like a lot of you guys are new to my channel. You guys don't realize I have two channels, but I do. So I have Lovely T 2002. This channel, we basically talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, but also viral stories that are going viral all over the internet. On my second channel, which is Lovely T 2013, that's my news channel. So that's more about serious topics, more about serious news. So don't forget to subscribe to both channels to sip the latest tea. So anyhow, this story's going viral. And it's about this trailer trash teen, honey. And she's from trifling ass Texas. And the reason why this story's going viral because the media called her adorable. She's been coined as the adorable drug kingpin. Now the same media outlet who coined her adorable, after getting backlash all over social media, now they're apologizing. So I want you guys to go ahead and meet this chick. Her name is Sarah Foray and she's 19 years old and this girl was arrested for having all these drugs on her. Let me go ahead and break it down for y'all, okay? Grab your tea cups because this tea is piping hot, honey. So Miss Sarah was arrested for having 31.5 grams of packaged cocaine, 126 grams of high-grade marijuana, 29 ecstasy tablets, methamphetamine, and 60 doses of a drug similar to LSD. She also had digital scales, a handwritten list of inventory, and incriminating text messages about drug deals. Now, Miss Sarah Frey, aka the adorable drug dealer, is looking at upwards of 200 years in prison. I want you guys to go ahead and check out what social media had to say about this story, and I also want you guys to go ahead and check out the apology that the news released as well concerning this story. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So you guys just saw all the comments and the apology and all that other nonsense. You know, what I found funny about this entire situation is that not only that news outlet, but Complex News and other news outlets that are supposedly ran by black people also coined this young girl adorable. I find that funny because Mike Brown was an innocent teen and nobody coined him adorable. He was seen as a thug. You know, Sandra Bland, I've never once seen anybody call her cute, pretty, adorable, none of that. She was quite more or less a troublemaker by the media. You know, so I find it funny that when it's this young white girl who does look, you know, sweet and innocent and everything else, they're quick to call her adorable. But had that been a young 19-year-old black male, he'd have been all types of thugs, drug dealers, you know, throw him underneath the jail and everything else. So I find that really funny how they try to downplay her crimes and act like what she was doing was cute and innocent. The fact that the new media is trying to find her cute and adorable does not change the fact that this bitch is a hardcore drug dealer point blank period this bitch was moving hella weight and is looking at 200 years in prison probably end up washing somebody's drawers and being somebody's bitch in prison okay how you doing the whole situation to me is just really damn dickless but it just shows you how the mainstream media portrays white criminals and how they try and downplay their criminal activity and they try and use little wordplay but when it comes to black criminals you know you can always find words like the they knew what they were doing but when it comes to cute white women getting in trouble for the same offense they always try and downplay their role now, with that being said I had to keep it all the way 100 as I've talked about on my channel before like I've stated a long time ago the war on drugs is bullshit at the end of the day selling drugs is about supply and demand okay you have a bunch of folks out here who want to do ecstasy and they want to pop pills and they want to do methamphetamine at the end of the day this girl's doing nothing more than being a capitalist you know what I'm saying she's taking advantage of a situation where there is supply and demand. People want their damn drugs and she's supplying them. You know, at the end of the day, like I 
I always say the war on drugs is bullshit. You have a bunch of fat cats in Washington who basically have said, you know what, this drug is illegal, this drug is illegal, this drug is illegal. But again, how are these drugs getting into the country if they're illegal? Drugs are one of the biggest things on the black market that's being traded. These drugs are being brought into the United States on purpose. And people are going and people are falling for the trap of selling drugs. And then once they get arrested, they end up in the prison industrial complex. So it's just a big ass cycle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these pharmaceutical companies are some of the biggest dope pushers out here as well. You know what I'm saying? Just because it comes from a doctor, just because a doctor has to write a prescription for it, does not mean it's any better than heroin. But with that being said, there's nothing cute about this young girl. There's nothing cute about what she did. All she was doing was looking out for her bottom line. She was being a capitalist in a capitalistic society. Just like her and many other young black men have fallen into that trap. At the end of the day, I feel like the war on drugs should be ended and people should not be looking at doing 200 years in prison for selling drugs when there's a huge demand for the drugs. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like the whole chicken or the egg, what came first? You had people who willingly want to do drugs, they willingly want to get high, but then we want to sit here and punish the drug dealers for basically supplying these people with the drugs that they're demanding. So the whole situation is a mess, but I do not feel like this girl's adorable or cute. She looks like she's high as hell on her own damn supply. But like I said, I just had to point out the hypocrisy on how she was treated when her story went viral as opposed to when it's a young black male who's caught for selling drugs. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. And do you feel like the news media is definitely biased to how they handle different races in the news? And then also, do you feel like this girl will end up getting 200 years in prison or do you feel like she most likely she'll probably get probation or something? So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.